can only dream of what living an NBA lifestyle could be like. NBA players live very comfortable lives with an abundance of money, fame, and traveling across the country. However, many of these players did not live in the brightest areas before NBA stardom as some had to grind their way out of their hoods filled with gang affiliation, drugs, and violence. In this video, we'll cover NBA players with gang ties. Be sure to stick until the end of the video so you won't miss out on how some of these NBA player celebrations were secretly gang ties. DeMar DeRozan Growing up in a dangerous city called Compton, California, DeMar DeRozan is anything but a stranger to gangs and violence. Although DeRozan was cheered on by many in his hometown for his basketball talents, many of his family members were shot and killed very close to his own house. At the early age of 5 years old, DeMar DeRozan was already experiencing gang violence with the passing of his uncle Kevin due to complications with the rival gang member affiliated with the Bloods. In high school, I wore a blue every day, said DeMar DeRozan on Twitter during 2010. DeMar attended Compton High School, and at the beginning of his freshman year, DeMar was already missing his first few weeks of school due to outside influence. He actually appeared on my role for two weeks, but he never showed up. When he walked in, I sat up tall in my seat and had this big smile on my face, and he looked at me and said, let's put Compton on the map, said the math teacher, who was also the coach who saw potential in DeMar. In his senior year, DeMar DeRozan led Compton to a 26-6 record, won the school's first division championship since 1969, and was ranked a top five player in the nation. This NBA star is a four-time All-Star and a two-time All-NBA team member. As of now, DeRozan is playing on the San Antonio Spurs after being traded from the Toronto Raptors. DeMar was closely associated with one of Compton's gangs in his early years, but that never got in the way of his performance on the court. DeMar has turned himself into an elite basketball player and doesn't shy away from letting us fans know where he came from. Zach Randolph Zach Randolph was raised in Marion, Indiana by a single mother who didn't really have much. Marion, Indiana is not the most ideal place to live due to the city having a crime rate higher than 92% of the state's cities and towns of all sizes. Regardless, times were not always easy for Zach as his family was on welfare for a majority of his life and managed to have multiple eyes on him from different crimes in his teen years. Just 15 years old, Randolph was put under house arrest for battery. Years later, he was placed in juvenile detention for receiving stolen guns. Zach Randolph was associated with Hoop Family, a gang in Portland that were most known associated with drugs, murder, and firearms. Regardless of Zach Randolph's activities off the court, he was able to lead his high school basketball team to the 1998 Indiana Class 4A championship game during his sophomore season. During his senior season, he played a big role in the team's appearance in the state championship game in which his high school would win its seventh state basketball championship. Zach Randolph would then go on to have a 17-year season, starting in 2001, where he was drafted by the Portland Trailblazers. Randolph would then go on to play with numerous teams such as the New York Knicks, Los Angeles Clippers, Memphis Grizzlies, and the Sacramento Kings. Randolph would have his best years in the league with the Memphis Grizzlies where he contributed to the team's efforts of making the playoffs for seven consecutive seasons. During his tenure there, the player averaged a double-double with 16.8 points and 10.2 rebounds. Karan Butler Karan Butler did not have the best childhood growing up and was involved with many situations that would get him in trouble. He was still able to push through with those harsh times and was making a name for himself in the NBA where he would go on to have a successful season. Karan was very involved off the court as he was arrested 10 times before even taking a step into his college season playing for UConn. Karan Butler also happened to get arrested for cocaine activity and possession of guns. He spent 9 years in jail dealing with convictions with weapon and drug activity. Butler's journey started in Racine, Wisconsin, a city 80,000 miles south of Milwaukee. In his neighborhood park, a group called the Gangsta Disciples, who usually dictated what's going on in the park, convinced Karan Butler at a young age that drugs were a quick and easy way to make money. At 11 years of age, Butler earned $38 selling drugs and continued to do so in high school hiding his drugs in his locker. These decisions would soon catch up to him as he mentions, when you're out there selling poison, it's going to come back. That's karma, man. Butler knew what he was doing would cause trouble with the authorities, but he wanted to hustle, and it's not hard to get started when everybody around him was doing it. Karan Butler played a 14-year NBA career where he was able to be a two-time All-Star, an NBA All-Rookie First Team, and an NBA Champion in 2006. It's safe to say that he established a pretty successful career despite his past on and off-court antics. Steven Jackson Steven Jackson was not shy of showing people of his gang ties to the public. Jackson was first immersed into this lifestyle at the age of 9, representing the Bloods. Although Jackson identified as a member of the Bloods, he told the media that he was not involved in any of their illegal activities. Jackson also made it a habit to wear red bandanas when he's not wearing his team's uniform. Jackson in an interview said, I was just raised like that. All my friends, 
I don't trip on nobody with no blue rag, but at the same time, it's what I represent. It's what I've represented since I was nine years old. All my friends in my neighborhood, it was just inherited. I ain't banging though. At the age of 16, Jackson's half-brother, Donald Buckner, passed away at the age of 25 after being attacked from gang activity. This affected Jackson because he wished that he could have been there for his brother and taught him a valuable lesson of protecting the people that are close to him. In his NBA career, he was drafted in 1997 with the 42nd pick in the second round by the Phoenix Suns. He played 14 seasons with seven different teams where he won a championship with the San Antonio Spurs in 2003. James Harden James Harden has made quite a name for himself during his career for his amazing offensive talents and his notorious step-back three-pointer jump shot. There was speculation in recent years if he was involved with gang activity due to the fact that he might have thrown up gang signs during his celebrations. In fact, many thought to believe that James Harden was affiliated with the Bloods because of the rappers he spends time off the court with. A notable example is Lil Wayne, where Harden mentions the rapper on Twitter, Come to the next game. We got seats for you, Five. What sticks out to multiple people about the tweet is that Five depicts a popular blood symbol commonly known as the Five-Pointed Star and the Five-Pointed Crown. Lil Wayne was not the only rapper that he was getting attention from. Other rappers came out Harden saying that he is not a real one and it's not about that life. James Harden went to Artesia High School in Lakewood, California and Arizona State University before his professional days being drafted in 2009 by the Oklahoma City Thunder. He's now playing for the Brooklyn Nets alongside Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant for a chance to win his first NBA championship. Carmelo Anthony As we look back on Carmelo Anthony's career, it's safe to assume that his glory days and his prime are over after numerous chances to compete for a title. This NBA veteran has accomplished a lot during his career, such as being a 10-time NBA All-Star, a 2-time All-NBA Second Team, a 4-time All-NBA Third Team, and an NBA All-Rookie First Team. Despite all of that, you may not have known about his association with gang-related activities. In 2004, Melo took part in a DVD called Stop Snitching, a campaign against law enforcement to get citizens not to report any information about crimes to the authority. In the video, Carmelo Anthony was spotted wearing all red being accompanied by other famous rappers in the area. Although Carmelo Anthony did not say or incite anything that would have caused trouble, this was not a good look on the NBA player, especially because the video surfaces during his rookie campaign. Monte Ellis Unlike other players who let their gang affiliations be known to the public, Monte Ellis was shown to have ties with gangs from his tattoos. One of his tattoos shows the letters GD, which fans speculated to be a portrayal of the Gangster Disciples, a gang in Mississippi. Monte Ellis also has a tattoo of a six-pointed star, which could be a symbolization of the Star of David, representing his gang principles of life, love, loyalty, understanding, and knowledge. Many fans have always wondered about the meanings of his tattoos from his perspective, but the NBA player never acknowledged them. J.R. Smith J.R. Smith was drafted in 2004 with the 18th overall pick with the New Orleans Hornets, where he started his career. Smith is known for having a quite interesting personality while playing in the NBA. From choking in Game 1 of the 2018 NBA Finals to wearing a Supreme branded arm sleeve in game, we cannot lie that J.R. Smith has given us an interesting personality figure in his time in the NBA. To reiterate on his personality, many people may have not known about his antics of revolving gangs. Many people would assume that J.R. Smith is part of a gang because of his appearance with his whole body filled with tattoos. In fact, during Smith's playing days with the Denver Nuggets, Smith would post on Twitter and replace the letter C with a K. This is practiced by members in the Blood Gang in opposition to their rival gang, the Crips. Other than that, J.R. Smith has not been in gang-related activities but this situation. After getting backlashes of responses, J.R. disabled his account, choosing not to explain his choices of switching letters in his tweets.